One of the things I've always hated is when I leave my garage door open, especially all night and I never noticed. So I came up with a way to fix that with just a little LED indicator light. Now I'm at the other end of my house. The garage in my house is in the back. Probably can't see it on camera till about now. See that little green light? That tells me that the garage door is open. And it's really easy to install. You need to tap into that button and hook up a little switch on your garage door. So when you close your garage and look at that little light down there, the little LED, as soon as it closes, you see that the light goes off. Now that's really easy to notice, especially at night it glows really bright. So you notice it anywhere in the house. And uh, I'll show you how to install one of these on your own. What you do is uh, drill a little hole in the back. Well, you don't have to put this in your wall plate, um, the switch plate I did. You could just have it right here in the wall, any other kind of, you could put a frame around it, whatever you want. Um, but I decided to incorporate it with this switch here since it was so close. But you could run this wire anywhere you want and uh, it would still work. Now, uh, that wire goes all the way to this switch and is powered by this switch. I just tapped into the voltage already allotted to this. This is a LiftMaster switch here. So you pop open the frame like you just saw me do from the top. There's going to be a screw here that you take out. I've already done it. Then the unit slides up. It's a keyhole. And the screw goes there. It just fell. But that's how you get this off. So what you do, you can see these little... This is um, just the regular power. And this is what I did. There's, there's the wire there goes to the one side of the LED and the other wire goes to the other one and there's a, um, a break in it just like a light switch and that goes separate so this one goes to the LED and this one um, this one goes to the LED this one goes up the wall through here And at the top of the garage, let's see if I'll turn on the light on the camera. There we go. It's just a real simple switch here. And I used one with, you know, the little metal arm that comes out. So you have on my garage door, when it finally closes, there's hot glued on this little piece of metal. It comes down and touches the switch. I'll show you that right now. And it comes down and touches. Okay, so the switch I installed up there is one that's normally closed. Now that means the circuit, you know, the leads going in are going to be a complete circuit um, to power the LED without the switch even being depressed. So when the garage closes and pushes that little arm and pushes the button on that switch, it opens the circuit and so the wires inside are not connected and this light will go off. So I hope all that makes sense. Now there's one trick if you don't know about LEDs I'll have to show you. Okay, here's an LED. It's kind of like a light bulb, but it has two leads. You can get these in any color. I just chose a green one, and there's uh, larger ones and smaller ones too. Um, but they don't work the same way as a light bulb. I have, they don't use much current here. Here's a little battery. And if you plug these leads in, you can see it comes on. It's pretty bright. But if I were to take this and turn it around 
and plug it in, it won't work. It's because the current has to flow one specific direction for it to turn on. So if you hook it all up and it doesn't turn on, you might have wired your LED backwards. So switch the wires and uh, you will see it come on. And uh, these are, you're going to notice these from far away. So it's a great light source.